This video will walk you through how to take inventory with Backbar. You can take inventory using your web browser or on the mobile app. Multiple people can take inventory simultaneously on their own devices. To begin, either click Take Inventory on the dashboard or under the Inventory tab on the sidebar. Click Start New Inventory Session. Choose a location account either from the drop-down menu or by clicking its row in the table. Enter in the number of cases and units you have for each item, either by entering values in the text box or using the plus and minus buttons. If you try to enter in a number in the case column for an item that has missing units per case information, you will be prompted to enter how many units come in a case for that item. After your first inventory session is complete, the next time you take inventory again, you will be able to see the quantities from the previous inventory session. Use the search box to look up items by name or attribute. There are three methods to sort your inventory list for counting. One, your items can be sorted alphabetically. Two, if you have completed an inventory session previously, Backbar can sort your items in the order you last counted them in. This makes it faster to enter counts in the order your items are organized on the shelf without needing to do any extra setup. Three, you can set up a custom sort order to choose which items are in which locations and manually put them in the order you want to count them. Click on the wrench next to Custom if you wish to use the third option and customize your sort order for this location. Click or drag items from the left All Inventory Items table to the Custom Location Order table on the right. In the Custom Location Order table, drag items into the order you want to count them. You can also select an item and use the up and down buttons on the side. Backbar will automatically save your adjustments as you add or move items. When you have finished counting this particular location, click Finish. Continue taking inventory for your remaining locations. You can see which locations have been counted and who has counted them. Once you are done taking inventory, click Review Session. If you did not count a location, or you did not click Finish Location when you did count, you will get a warning message to confirm that you are done. Click Confirm if finished, and each location will then be set to a finished status. Prior to ending your inventory session, you should do a final review. The review table has three tabs. The All Items tab will display all items with the total count across all locations. Click on an item to view their counts by location. The Negative Usage tab lists items that will result in a negative usage, which theoretically should not be possible. This means that your current count is more than your previous count, plus any purchases you have made. The most common reasons for this are not recording an order for a purchase you made outside the app, forgetting to close an order, or there is an inaccuracy with your inventory counts. If you don't use Backbar for your orders, you may see a lot of items appear here, which you can ignore. The Items Missing Counts tab will show items that you have not put any counts for. All items listed here will be set to a quantity of zero when you end your session. Check the Partial Inventory box if you purposely counted only some, but not all, items. If Partial Inventory is checked, any items that were not counted will be ignored instead of having their quantities set to zero. Reports are not generated for partial inventory sessions. Only item quantities are adjusted. Change the date and time your inventory session ended if necessary. This date will be used in all of your reports. Click End Session when you are done. Please wait as the system may take a minute to process your inventory. Congrats! You finished taking inventory. If you made a mistake or need to edit a count after your session has been ended, go back to the Take Inventory page. In the Inventory Session History table, click the Reopen icon for the session you want to edit. Make any adjustments as needed, and then end your session again the same as before. You can reopen or delete a past session as long as you don't have one currently open. Taking inventory on mobile is just like on the web, except with some added functionality. 
You can count inventory in two ways, using a slider or using a keypad. Items you can take partial counts of, like bottles of liquor or kegs, will have a slider you can use to quickly and accurately count partial units. You will not see a slider for items that don't have a size assigned or items that you sell by the whole unit, like cans of beer. Use keypad mode to count using a standard keypad and preset quantities of plus 0 0.1, plus 1, plus 6, and plus 12. If you need to scroll through your inventory list, swipe down to close the window, then tap on an item to resume taking counts. Use the Backbar app to take inventory on any mobile device. Multiple people can take inventory at the same time. Counts sync on all devices instantly. For more support videos and articles, visit the Backbar Help Center at getbackbar.com support.